Hello, you are watching Steph on the pedal. And if you have never seen me before, I do a lot of Instacart content on my channel. I will actually link a playlist in the description box down below if you'd like to take a look at that. If you found my video because you are a customer of Instacart or looking to order groceries as a customer through Instacart, just know that this video might be helpful to you, but it's really directed towards the people that are shopping for you. So I am actually uh, an Instacart shopper myself, and that's kind of what I do here. But what I wanted to do was sort of show uh, what it's like to order through the Instacart app, because I've never done it myself, and I think it would be beneficial just to kind of get an idea of what the customer experiences when they are ordering. I think that would be helpful to a lot of shoppers. And also it might be, it might be helpful to you as a customer also. So before we get started, I want to let you know if you are planning to sign up with Instacart as a shopper, you'd like to work for Instacart. I have a link below where you can sign up to do that. I'd appreciate if you used it. If you are signing up to be a Instacart customer, I have like a, a promo code basically down below. If you enter that in, you should get $5 off of your groceries. So there we have it. But yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe for more Instacart content and make sure you hit that bell notification icon. I'm not going to place a large order just because I don't really need a lot of stuff, but I, I'm going to do a fair amount and maybe try to get an item or two in there that I think won't be available or that they would have to make a substitution for. So if you don't already have the Instacart app downloaded, if you're a customer, you obviously want to start with that first. I already have the app downloaded. Okay, so this is kind of like your main screen, your, your dashboard, I guess, as soon as you log into Instacart. I am going to do my order through King Supers. Okay. So you can see there's sort of like a search bar up here at the top. I've played around with app just a tiny bit already, but I haven't really, um, I haven't, obviously I've not placed an order yet. So yeah, I just kind of want to scroll through and see what it does. You see it kind of like itemizes different things. Oh, it even has a section where you can add coupons in, or maybe they actually have coupons. I don't really understand that. Yeah, okay. Little coupon section there. That's not bad. Explore. All right. This is a nice section. Okay, what I really want to see is if I can get some paper towels. And that's something that's not been available. So I don't think that that's going to happen. But I would almost like to see what a refund looks like on my end. Or if they try to... If the shopper tries to substitute it with something else. So let's see if I can even find paper towels. Um, I guess that's going to be a no. <laughs> so honestly, what's interesting because as a sh Instacart shopper, it's like we always get items that are out of stock. The customers always order stuff through us that is not in stock. So it's really kind of interesting to see that I can't even place an order for paper towels right now. So that makes me think at least to some extent they might be paying or, you know, changing quantities through the app or King Supers might be updating their stock. But I, I know that's not 100% true because we receive items that are out of stock all the time. So yeah, I guess I'm not going to try to order paper towels. All right, what I, the main thing I need is uh, razors. Intuition razor. This is what I want. Don't come for me. I know that these are way too expensive. <laughs> I just can't find anything else that I like better. It's kind of weird to show the internet what I'm shopping for. All right. I'm almost out of body wash too. Oh, that's a paper towels. I'm going to get some body wash. Ole. Actually, I like to get the uh, the Kroger brand, like kind of the generic Olay. I wonder if I can if I can search for the generic. Let's see if I can find that. Yeah, um, 
I'm not seeing the one that I normally get, but they do have some of the generics in there. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and get the regular non-generic version. So... I mean, the search features are really... It's not bad. All right, go ahead and get that and add it to the cart. And then I've been looking for this Lipton chicken noodle soup. It's like dry packets. Oh, I think it's mix. Oh, maybe I should write chicken soup mix. Yes, that's it. Now, a lot of chicken noodle soup has been out of stock, so I don't know if if we're going to be able to get this. That's weird. So it says two each. So it looks like it's automatically giving me a quantity of two. No way. Why does it say $1.66 each? This is really weird. Okay, so I think it's still just for one box. But if you can see right under the title of it, it says two each. There must be two in the actual box, but it's funny that it, it breaks it down and it says $1.60 each, 66 each, but then my total says $3.33. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm getting it anyways. It doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, is that the one I want? The extra noodle? No, I'll, I'll just stick with the regular one. Okay, there's also, I had a customer order this Kashi cereal the other day that looked really good and it's been so long since I've had cereal so I really want to I really want to try this cereal this is the one I don't know that sounds so good to me all right I'm gonna try that I'm gonna need to get some milk <laughs> Let's go with this. Well, this one. I feel like this is gonna be so boring just watching me grocery shop. <laughs> okay. There's one other thing I was thinking I was gonna get, but I don't. I don't know if I can remember what it was. Oh, grapes. I want grapes. I guess I'll get green. Those beets are good. Okay. Oh, this. Okay, so can I change? I could change the the weight if I wanted. Okay, we'll stick with a pound though. All right. So that's everything that I think I'm gonna throw into the cart. I'm gonna go ahead and go to to the cart. Oh, so. Dang it, that sucks. You can see right here, it says, my next delivery time is tomorrow between 5 and 7 p.m. I was really hoping to get it today, but I guess I'm not surprised that I won't get it until tomorrow. It is kind of later in the day on a Sunday, too. It's 3.30. Yeah, this all looks good. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm going to go to checkout. And then I'm obviously, so they're asking me for my delivery address. And then it looks down here. Okay, this is really what I wanted to see. Dang, that's expensive. <laughs> okay, so my, my total is $35. There's a $2 service fee, uh, $2.00 in sales tax, which I feel like it should probably be more than that. Add a promo code. Okay, so this is where you would be able to enter my code into the bottom. So, all right, so I went ahead and plugged in my friend's promo code because I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to use mine. I'm thinking probably not. So that's pretty cool and definitely helpful. Now they're obviously wanting me to put my address on. I am not going to do that on camera. I think you can probably figure out that part on your own. And this is the interesting part. So it's automatically defaulting the tip to $2, which let's see. 
just a flat two dollars. So it's like slightly above five percent. And this this is crazy to me. Okay, so I have a lot of thoughts about the way tipping works through Instacart, and I think I'm a little sensitive to the tip conversation anyways, just because I was a bartender for years. So I would like to think that I'm a pretty good tipper, but here's my thought process on this. So I know that ordering groceries, that your grocery bill likely is going to be a pretty large total. I mean, I am placing a small order, so it's a little bit different. And I mean, 20% of this order is only $7. But if you have, say, like a $200 order, then, you know, you would want to tip quite a bit more. And that could be a significant amount of money. Um, so the fact that Instacart is defaulting its tips to around 5% kind of bothers me because, so if I go get my hair done and I spend $200 getting my hair done, I still tip my hairdresser 20%. So I don't understand why you wouldn't tip somebody that's delivering shopping for you and delivering groceries in a pandemic, nonetheless, why you wouldn't at least hit them 10 per, or 20%. So the default to 5% thing, which like, I mean, it, is, it does look like it's defaulting a little above 5%, but still like that's, that's not okay. We, people really should be tipping well over that because tell me, I'm telling you, if we were relying as shoppers as what Instacart is willing to pay us, this would not be worth it. So really take care of your shoppers right now, please. All right, I am definitely going to change this tip. And how do I type in my own tip? Oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed. Okay, this is not very clear. So in order to type in your own tip, you have to select on the dollar amount at the bottom. I'm gonna do 15. And then save tip. Okay, so that applied. So my $5 off. Okay, so I did go ahead and enter my address. And then the next thing it prompts you to do is choose a delivery time. But I'm gonna do tomorrow between 5 to 7 p.m. So yeah, the app just kind of walks you through everything during the checkout process. I mean, it's it's not difficult at all. I obviously can't show you all of this because it's my personal information, but I think you kind of get the point. Uh, so I've already placed my order and then this screen allows me to choose replacements just in case. So personally, when I am shopping for someone, I don't love if I have the list of replacements. So as a customer, I personally would tell you not to do this. It might be beneficial when our world is normal and the stores are stocked. It's just so hit or miss that your replacement is probably not something we're going to be able to get if we need to replace an item anyways. So I kind of think this is a waste of your time and I wouldn't do this. And it, it kind of... It, it sort of slows things down for your shopper anyways. So, I mean, what you can do, and, and hopefully I'll be able to catch it in time and show you, is you should be able to follow along in the app as the person is shopping and they you can message them. So you can tell if they replace or refund anything and you can choose to approve of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is carry this camera with me and make sure I have it for when my Instacart shopper starts shopping and so I can show you what happens next in this process. Okay, I am back and it is the next day and I just quickly wanted to touch base with you and let you know about an email that I received from Instacart. I'm pretty sure I got this like maybe right after I placed that order. I didn't notice it until a little bit later, but it just says, thank you, we received your order for six items. It kinda goes a little in a little bit about uh, the demand being high, so some items may be limited, and the shopper could contact you about um, replacements, which is awesome. I'm glad that they kind of warn customers about that to begin with. It says, if your shopper doesn't hear back from you, they may be required to refund certain items, so please try to respond as they shop. 
again, really happy that they are warning customers about this. Uh, and then this is my favorite part of the email. It says, want to recognize the delivery effort? Consider a large tip as a way to say thanks. So go Instacart. I'm so happy that they are sending out an email like that because, I mean, really, this is this is a time that you should be taking care of people providing services for you. So... Okay, so it actually says right here that I can view the order status. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I also, when I went to make breakfast this morning, I noticed that I only had a few eggs left. So I'm going to go ahead and order eggs or see if I can add it to that order and kind of see what that process is like to add something after the fact. So it might be kind of cool just to show that. So yeah, right here it says that I can add items. So I am going to add an item. Eggs. I'm going to go with these guys. All right. Oh, cool. I didn't notice the nutritional information listed before on any of the items. I bet it was probably there. There's actually like product details and stuff. These details talk about the chickens. So that's cool. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten these eggs before. They usually have like some insert in there that talks about how happy their chickens are, which I kind of dig. I like that. Okay, evidently I couldn't just leave it alone. So so I was running out of my tea that I am absolutely obsessed with and I'm going to go ahead and add that too. <laughs> so it's kind of cool to actually just like sit here and think of other things that you would want or need. So I'm adding three of those. I know that my order total is going to come, uh, be more than it was. So I figured I probably ought to tell you that I did that. That way you don't, you aren't, you guys aren't confused. All right. Let's see what my total is now. $66 for eight items. Ouch. Those razors I get are really expensive though. Yeah. I mean, you kind of have to expect that you're definitely going to pay more for groceries and with Instacart, I'm pretty sure that they add at least a small upcharge to each individual item that you're ordering. So, I mean, they have to make their money somehow kind of get it. I was actually on a phone call and I had to fly over here really quickly so I could start recording because it said my shopper just started shopping. Okay, it looks like she did send me a message. Hi, my name is Brittany. I will be shopping for you personally today. Please feel free to communicate with me while I gather your things. I'm going to just send her a quick message back to let her know that I am I like actually here watching her. So, this is cool. So, you have the chat option down here. So, if I want, if I want to tell her something, I can. Woo! She got something. So, I mean, with the grapes, I asked for a pound. She ended up getting 1.6, but like, they don't really sell, sell grapes by the pound. Those bags always have a lot more in it. So, I mean, you got to think like if you were out shopping, you aren't going to take grapes out of a bag. And, you know, especially right now, like I don't want somebody taking grapes out of a bag for me. Right. If any of my videos deserve a thumbs up, it is this one because... This is kind of a lot of work for a video. And uh, I spent spent a good amount of money when I could have done the shopping for myself. Just saying. Just saying. Just a little thumbs up. I'd like it. I would, I would really, really like it. I was actually just doing something else on my phone and did not have the screen open. And it said she replaced something. But, oh, okay. I can review changes now. Aww. <laughs> All right. I'm going to approve this replacement, even though I don't. I don't like the plastic bottles. I like the glass bottles, but I'm not going to be bougie. Approved. It's not the same. I'm actually drinking it right now. This is like my main go-to drink. 
It's so good. If you like black tea, you've never tried the Tijava tea. It's like on fire. All right, Brittany, are you going to ask me if there's anything else I'd like? You should always ask your customers if there's anything else they would like. You know what? I want to ask her if there's any... Oh, I should have done this earlier. But let's see. Are there any paper towels? I'm not in dire need of paper towels. I just don't see them very often. So, Stephanie, shopping is complete. Your order is ready and stored in a temperature-controlled environment. You know what's funny is um, on the shopper's in, it says that they notify the customer that you're now checking out and that uh, changes cannot be made. But they definitely didn't notify me of that unless I missed it somewhere. You know what? It did see Brittany. It said Brittany C. finished shopping for your order. And then I asked her after that if they were writing paper towels. She was probably so annoyed. <laughs> Okay, so she just dropped off my groceries and I looked and everything looks fine. I'm not going to show you because you just saw what I ordered and it's exactly what I got. So um, something I find kind of interesting is that uh, the app just told me that she had delivered. She didn't knock or do anything like that. So Personally, I always knock or ring the doorbell to try to let them know that it's here because if somebody doesn't see the notification on their phone, they might not know that the groceries are here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give her a five star. I'm going to say, I'm just going to say, great, you did good. You did good. Thanks. Thank God. Thanks. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to say she made good replacements. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Done. Thank you for reading. If I had a problem with my order today, let's see what happens when you say report an issue. Okay. Okay. Well, that's nice to know. I didn't know they had that option. Uh, the customer had that option to uh, report an issue directly through the app. I'm going to go ahead and say done. Okay, where was the part that is supposed to ask me if I wanted to add additional tip? I've heard that was supposed to be there. I definitely didn't see that. Okay, wait, I do have my receipt here. Okay, so here's the receipts. I don't see any option to add an additional tip. And I'm looking for it. Yeah, I, I honestly, I can't find anything about adding additional tip. Because I heard before that that's why sometimes people thought they were getting tip baited. Was because evidently there was an option to add a tip after the fact. And their verbiage was kind of confusing and people were accidentally zeroing out their tips. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one. Speaking of more videos like this one, I have a playlist below that is all my Instacart content. So make sure you took a look at that if you were trying to learn the ropes of Instacart. Again, give this video a thumbs up. It is really appreciated and helps a lot. And I will see you soon. Okay, bye.